For a long time, I could not believe in the existence of aliens until archaeologists told me this. Alien life exists and researchers are convinced of this, both in South America and China. Examples of UFOs in Japan, a mysterious sarcophagus and unexplained hieroglyphs in Honduras confirm contact with alien technology. Watch this video until the end. Hi friend, you are on the Kurtop channel, South America. The people of South America believe in the existence of UFOs for several reasons. Firstly, in these countries, cultural heritage and traditions play an important role in society. In Peru and Bolivia, for example, ancient civilizations such as the Incas left behind many legends and artifacts that can be interpreted as evidence of contact with extraterrestrial beings. Local legends and myths often contain references to celestial beings and mysterious events, which makes people more trusting of the idea of contacts with extraterrestrial civilizations. It is important to note that some archaeological finds and historical structures, such as the Nazca Lines in Peru, also contribute to such interpretations. Ancient petroglyphs and cave paintings discovered in various regions depict strange figures and objects that resemble modern UFOs. This evidence complements cultural traditions and increases belief in the possibility of such contacts. There have been numerous sightings of alien objects in Brazil and Uruguay even to this day. One famous case is the incident in Varginha, Brazil in 1996 where local residents claim to have seen a strange creature after a UFO crash. In Uruguay, military and civilian witnesses also repeatedly reported sightings of unidentified flying objects leading to the creation of official research teams. Local residents and authorities in South America react to reports of UFOs with great interest. Research in this region has a significant impact on the global ufology community. Examples from Japan the Japanese government has long denied the existence of UFOs, citing a lack of reliable evidence and fears of possible public panic. In addition, the government sought to maintain control over information to avoid any data leakage. However, Japanese pilots have repeatedly reported UFO sightings. One famous case occurred in 1986 when the crew of a Japanese cargo plane over Alaska observed three unidentified objects that accompanied them for 50 minutes. This incident received enormous attention and aroused the interest of both ufologists and the public. In 2020, the Japanese government's attitude towards UFOs has changed significantly. Defense Minister Taro Kono said the government will start taking UFO reports more seriously and will develop instructions for pilots and military personnel in case of encounters with unidentified objects. The decision comes amid growing surveillance and pressure from people. The Secretary of Defense has initiated the development of standard procedures for collecting and analyzing data from such incidents, and has also increased cooperation with international partners. Analysis of UFO data by the Japanese military has shown that some sightings indeed cannot be explained by normal phenomena or known aircraft. However, no convincing evidence of the presence of extraterrestrial technology has yet been found. Chichen Itza and its Mysteries Chichen Itza was of great importance to the Mayan civilization as a political, economic, and religious center. This ancient city, located on the northern Yucatan Peninsula, was an important site for rituals and ceremonies related to the gods and astronomical phenomena. Eric von Daniken, known for his theories about ancient aliens, paid attention to the El Castillo Pyramid, Temple of Kukulkan, in his research. He suggested that the accuracy of the pyramid's architectural and astronomical elements may indicate Mayan contact with extraterrestrial civilizations. Danikin noted that pyramids like El Castillo could have been built using technologies unknown to modern scientists. The symbolic meaning of the light shown in the steps of the El Castillo pyramid during the equinoxes is associated with the cultic veneration of the god Kukulkan. During the spring and autumn equinoxes, sunlight creates the illusion of a serpent descending the steps of the pyramid. This phenomenon was interpreted as the return of Kukulkan to Earth, confirming the importance of the Maya's astronomical knowledge and their ability to design architecture in harmony with the movements of celestial bodies. The Mayans believed in the return of the god Kukulkan, a feathered serpent who symbolized rebirth and renewal. This belief was based on ancient myths and texts, such as the Popol Vuh and the Mayan Codes, which describe the cyclical nature of time and the return of the gods at certain points in history. Kukulkan was an important deity associated with wind, water, and fertility, making his cult especially significant to the agrarian Mayan society. 
Modern archaeologists interpret these finds as evidence of the high level of development of astronomy and engineering among the Mayans. They believe that the pyramids and other structures of Chichen Itza were built taking into account complex mathematical calculations and observations of the movement of celestial bodies. Remote View Project Stargate is a secret program launched by the CIA in the 1970s to study and apply the phenomenon of remote viewing, also known as remote sensing. Remote viewing is the ability of a person to obtain information about distant or inaccessible objects, places, or events without the use of conventional sensory means. Project Stargate was created to explore the use of this ability for intelligence purposes, including the study of UFOs. The project used various methods such as hypnosis, meditation, and other techniques to put participants into altered states of consciousness where they could receive information. These methods have been used to study UFOs and search for signs of extraterrestrial activity. One of the key participants in the project was Pat Price, a former police officer with exceptional abilities in the field of remote viewing. Pat Price made several important discoveries, especially regarding features beneath Mount Hayes in Alaska. He claimed to have seen an underground base there controlled by aliens and described detailed structures and technologies that were supposedly located in this base. These claims have generated great interest and controversy among researchers. Several CIA documents contain references to such bases and confirm that Price provided information that was partially corroborated by other intelligence sources. However, no direct and unambiguous evidence of the existence of an alien base has been found, and many aspects of these claims remain controversial. Remote viewing is used for reconnaissance and research of UFOs, providing information about places that cannot be explored using traditional methods. For example, remote viewers can describe the internal structures of spaceships or bases that are inaccessible to physical observation. The death of Pat Price in 1975 under mysterious circumstances adds an element of danger to the work of remote viewers. Price's death has sparked much speculation and conspiracy theories, suggesting that he may have been eliminated due to his knowledge and abilities. Dangers and Mystical Deaths People reporting UFO encounters face several dangers. One of the main threats is social stigma. Witnesses are often ridiculed and not taken seriously, which can negatively impact their personal and professional lives. In addition, there are more serious risks, including psychological pressure, threats, and even physical danger, especially if their evidence involves secret government programs or military installations. There are several examples of mysterious deaths of UFO researchers. For example, James McDonald, a renowned scientist and UFO researcher, allegedly committed suicide in 1971 after a series of mysterious events and threats. Morris Jessup, author of The Case for UFOs, also died under suspicious circumstances in 1959, raising suspicions of possible outside interference. There are programs to protect witnesses and UFO researchers. Some organizations provide legal support and security advice. There are many theories about the connection between the deaths of UFO researchers and their work. Some suggest that governments or secret organizations eliminate people who have dangerous knowledge or reveal classified information. Others believe that these deaths may be the result of psychological pressure and stress associated with the study and disclosure of such data. Satellite data. Modern satellite images available through various internet platforms, such as Google Earth, show possible entrances to underground bases in Antarctica. One such example is images showing strange holes in the ice sheet that resemble man-made structures. Satellite images have also been discovered on South Georgia Island, which some researchers believe indicate a possible UFO crash. One such image was found on Google Earth and shows what appears to be a crashed spaceship. The image aroused interest among ufologists and internet researchers who suggested that it could be debris of alien origin. Some of these objects have unusual shapes and sizes that are difficult to explain by natural processes. The alleged UFO on South Georgia Island has often been compared to the interstellar object Oumuamua, which came to the attention of scientists in 2017. Oumuamua, discovered as the first known interstellar object to pass through the solar system, has an unusual shape and trajectory that does not match the characteristics of ordinary asteroids or comets. This has led to speculation that it could be an alien probe or spacecraft. Sarcophagus of Lord Pakal 
Lord Pakal, also known as Pakal the Great, was the ruler of the city of Palenque in the Mayan civilization. He reigned from 615 to 683 AD and is known for his significant contributions to the city and its culture. Pakil the Great left behind many architectural achievements, including the Temple of the Inscriptions, in which his sarcophagus was discovered. The lid of Lord Pakil's sarcophagus is decorated with complex images that have given rise to many interpretations and debates. It depicts Pakil sitting in an unusual position, surrounded by symbols and hieroglyphs. Its position and surroundings have given rise to various interpretations, including theories about contact with extraterrestrial civilizations. Eric von Daniken, a proponent of the ancient alien theory, interprets the images on the sarcophagus lid as evidence of Mayan contact with aliens. He claims that Pakal is depicted in the position of a spaceship pilot, with his arms, legs, and back supposedly controlling some kind of device. According to Daniken, this indicates that Pakal could be associated with extraterrestrial technology. Archaeologists and historians offer alternative explanations. They believe that the images on the sarcophagus symbolize Pakal's journey to the afterlife and his connection with the Mayan deities. Pakal's pose, in their opinion, represents him as an intermediary between the earthly world and the world of spirits, and not as a pilot of a spaceship. Could Lord Pakal really be an alien? This hypothesis remains highly controversial and lacks scientific evidence. Despite the interesting interpretations proposed by Daniken, most scientists tend to consider these theories fantastic and not based on real data. Other artifacts found at Palenque and other Mayan cities support traditional interpretations. For example, numerous inscriptions and images show scenes from Mayan life, their religious rituals and mythological beliefs. These finds confirm that Pakal and his sarcophagus were part of the Mayan cultural and religious context, rather than evidence of extraterrestrial contact. Dragon Houses and Mount Ojai the dragon houses on the island of Euboea in Greece are mysterious megalithic structures that amaze with their massiveness and precision. These ancient structures, built from huge stone blocks without the use of binding mortar, date back to around the 8th century BC. Legends associate dragon houses with the gods, particularly Zeus, and describe them as places of sacred rituals and the habitat of ancient dragons who guard these territories. Mount Ojai, where some of the dragon houses are located, is considered a place of contact with the gods due to its remoteness and majestic location. In ancient Greek mythology, mountains were often associated with the abodes of the gods and places of their manifestations. This mountain towering above the surrounding landscape could be perceived as a sacred place where divine meetings and rituals took place. Archaeologists face many difficulties when studying these megalithic structures. One of the main mysteries is how the ancient builders were able to transport and lay such huge stone blocks on the tops of the mountains. The logistics and technical aspects of their construction remain unclear, especially given the lack of modern tools and equipment. There is also no exact data on the time and purpose of the construction of these structures, which complicates their study and interpretation. According to legend, Zeus used these places for his meetings with people and other gods. The dragons mentioned in legends could be symbols of his strength and protection of sacred places. There is a theory that the dragon houses could be places of contact with aliens. Proponents of this hypothesis argue that the unusual architecture and precise geometry of these buildings indicate the possible influence of extraterrestrial civilizations. They believe that the ancient Greeks may have interpreted encounters with aliens as contacts with the gods, which was reflected in their myths and legends. Hieroglyphic Staircase in Copan the ancient city of Copan, located in the western part of modern Honduras, is known for its outstanding architectural structures and many monuments testifying to the high development of this civilization. One of the most famous monuments in Copan is the Hieroglyphic Staircase, which is considered one of the largest and most complex Mayan inscriptions. The Hieroglyphic Staircase at Copan consists of 63 steps, on which more than 2,200 hieroglyphs are carved. This staircase serves as an important source of information about the dynastic history of Copan and its rulers. 
the hieroglyphs on the staircase tell of the exploits and achievements of the kings, as well as the religious and ritual events associated with their reign. Ernst Forstemann, a prominent German scientist, played a key role in deciphering Mayan hieroglyphs. In the late 19th century, he made significant advances in understanding the Mayan writing system, which allowed him to read many texts, including those on the hieroglyphic ladder. Mayan hieroglyphs are a complex writing system combining phonetic and ideographic elements. Modern technology has greatly advanced the study of Mayan hieroglyphs. Using 3D scanning, photogrammetry, and digital analysis allows researchers to create accurate models of hieroglyphic texts and analyze them in great detail. Machine learning and artificial intelligence technologies help automate the processes of decoding and comparing texts, which speeds up and facilitates the work of scientists. Asteroid Influence and Contact with the Gods the asteroid, believed to have wiped out the dinosaurs some 66 million years ago, has left a significant mark on the Yucatan Peninsula. This impact created the Chicxulub Crater, which is still an important geological feature. Although this cataclysm occurred long before the emergence of the Mayan civilization, its long-term geological and environmental consequences may have influenced the formation of the region in which the culture later developed. Archaeological finds, such as cities and buildings destroyed and buried under a layer of sediment, may indirectly confirm the theory of cataclysms that occurred in Yucatan. However, there is no direct evidence that the Mayans knew about the asteroid that destroyed the dinosaurs or had any information about them. The idea that the Mayans may have had contact with dinosaurs is scientifically unfounded. Dinosaurs went extinct long before the first humans appeared, not to mention the Mayan civilization. However, in mythology and their art, one can find depictions of creatures that can be interpreted as legendary or mythical animals. But this is not evidence of their actual contact with dinosaurs. Researchers sometimes find dinosaur fossils in Mesoamerica, but these findings date back to a time before human history. Such finds may be of interest to geologists and paleontologists, but they do not support the theory of Mayan contact with dinosaurs. Knowledge of ancient cataclysms may have been integrated into their mythology and beliefs, linking natural phenomena to the actions of the gods. The Mayans believed in cyclical time and recurring catastrophes, which may have been a reflection of their understanding of the past and prediction of future events. Chinese Mythology and Huangdi Huangdi, also known as the Yellow Emperor, is one of the key figures in Chinese history and mythology. He is considered the first emperor of China and a cultural hero who laid the foundations of Chinese civilization. Huangdi personifies a wise ruler and a great reformer whose deeds and achievements deeply influence the development of Chinese culture and society. According to legends, Huangdi descended from heaven on a dragon which symbolized his divine origin and connection with heaven. The dragon in Chinese mythology symbolizes strength, wisdom, and power, and its association with Huangdi emphasizes the divine character of the emperor and his special role in Chinese history. Huangdi is credited with numerous achievements in the development of Chinese culture. Among them was the invention of the compass, which became a key tool for navigation and feng shui. He is also considered to be the creator of the first written characters, which mark the beginning of Chinese writing and literature. Huangdi introduced a calendar system that is still used in traditional Chinese holidays. He is also credited with contributions to medicine, including acupuncture and herbal medicine. There is a theory that dragons in Chinese mythology may be interpretations of spaceships. Proponents of this hypothesis suggest that the ancient Chinese may have described encounters with highly advanced extraterrestrial beings and their technologies in the form of myths about flying dragons. In this context, the dragon on which Huangdi arrived could be a symbolic representation of a spaceship or other aircraft. Archaeological and historical evidence supporting theories about Huangdi and dragons remains controversial and ambiguous. Excavations and research into ancient texts continue, but so far there is no clear evidence to support the spaceship hypothesis. Most scholars adhere to traditional interpretations, viewing dragons as mythological creatures, symbolizing natural forces and divine authority. Give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends about it. Thank you for watching to the end and going into the distant and mysterious past with me. See you in new videos.